basically what we did is we estimate how much information there is in the world. So how much information you can store in all technological devices that includes all paper, books and videotapes and hard disk and even the little memory chip on your credit card. Then how much information can be communicated that's basically broadcasted, diffused through television, through radio and also newspapers or communicated bidirectionally through phone and, and the internet or postal, postal uh, mail. And then uh, third, how much information can be computed. We can store 295 exabytes of information in the, in the year 2007 in our technologies. Now, how much is that? That is a huge number. If I would store all these information in CD-ROMs, I could make a pile that goes from here towards the moon and one quarter of this distance beyond. A library of a large research university like the one from USC behind me contains about 40,000 books. If you would take the entire information that is stored in the world's technological devices and convert it into books, that is equal to around 15 times the books that are in these buildings per person in the entire world. Our storage capacity doubles around every three years and four months, and that is around four times faster than our economy growth. Roughly the same holds for our telecommunication capacity. While all of these numbers are impressive and mind-boggling, compared to the information processing capacity of nature, they are actually still very small. If we would like to give a separate name to every star in the universe, we would only be able to store the name of every thousand stars. And that is, we would use all the paper that we have, all videotapes, all hard disk and every little microchip on a credit card just to store the name of stars. The information that we receive through broadcasting is around two setabytes. This is uh, roughly 175 newspaper per day that you basically receive through the broadcasting technology. The amount of information that we communicate bidirectionally, that you communicate yourself, is around six newspapers per day. If you would take pigeon posts to communicate this information, we would need about four times the entire world population per day working for us to communicate this amount of information. The fastest growing is actually computation. Computational power grows around nine times faster per year than our economic power. If all computers in the world run simultaneously, in one second they can make as many instructions as right about a human brain can make nerve impulses in one second. So why does it matter how much information we can process with our technology? Why did we do this study? On the one hand, we all know that all of these technologies affect our daily lives constantly. Then on a more scientific level, we also know that this is very, more information is important for economic development, for political freedoms, also for cultural production. So information itself is increasingly becoming an important socioeconomical indicator.